Now, Ghana loses some $99 million to Burkina Faso through the importation of fresh tomatoes annually. Well, in this report from the Adan East District of the Great Accra region, City News' Elvis Washington tells the story of how tomato farmers, their produce, are going to waste due to the lack of ready market and storage facilities. According to a report by the Tomatoes Traders, and Transporters Association, Ghana loses 56 billion CFA, approximately $99.5 million, to Burkina Faso through the importation of fresh tomatoes annually. The chairman of the association, Eric Osei-Tufo, says this is because Ghana alone imported 90% of fresh tomatoes produced in Burkina Faso. The remaining 10%, he said, is consumed between the country and La Côte d'Ivoire. Mr. Tufo says Burkina Bay researchers had consciously calculated and worked it for the country to gain that amount or more within the six month production period in a year, which is the planting, harvesting, and marketing season of the commodity. Here in Ghana, farmers in the Adan East district cultivate only three months out of the 12 months in the year, despite having the potential of farming the commodity all year round with farmers mostly cultivating watermelon and vegetables in large quantities. Unfortunately, they are not able to farm all year round owing to several factors such as the lack of a reliable irrigation source, transportation challenges and the unavailability of storage facilities coupled with unreliable and ready markets. Farmers in the district are deeply concerned about these challenges. I will spend about uh, 10 million, uh, 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 1,000 Ghana. Thousand Ghana for one acre before we go go do the farm, but we don't get anything for top. So what do you want government to do for you? We they beg the government to make it help make it help us for our road, secondary water. We don't get water too, so we are suffering for this town. Yeah. So anytime they will come here, say we vote for them. We they vote. We don't see anything. We don't get any benefit for the vote. We they, we they vote for them. No. I want the government. To, uh, to help with the farmers here. Even we want to do irrigation farm but because we don't have any dam, any available water for that. Uh, we, are no, uh, pro, uh, we are not improving in that way. So we want the government to help us also so that we also do the irrigation farm. While Ghana's neighbor, Burkina Faso, has created the enabling environment with the necessary incentives for its tomato farmers, the situation is different in Ghana. Due to lack of a ready market, for instance, a basket full of tomatoes is sold between 10 and 25 cities during the bumper season. Because the tomatoes price is no good and as I am a farmer right now, before I send the tomatoes to market, there is no car moving. So I have to look for Okada to come and collect the product to the farm before I do my market before the Okada man take the uh, one bucket of the tomatoes to the market, they collect uh, seven cities in one bucket. So if I sell the one bucket of the tomatoes, 10 cities, uh, Okada man is collecting seven cities. So it's left, it's left with only three cities for me, the farmer, uh, as my benefit. So before everything finished on my farm and I do my calculations, I have no benefit. The challenge is, is that if you harvest the things, we don't get car, we can't take the load. So the load too, we don't get price for him. Okay, the market too, before we go take the load for market, we are suffering. We don't, car don't come here, we don't get road. So we go take Okada, a uh, motorbike, it to go charge, heavy charge before we go take the load for market. If you go market too, we don't get price for the, 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 the load. So that that is our, our problem for here. So if you if you if you farm tomatoes, how do you get buyers, and how much do they price, say a box of tomato? Okay, sometimes we day here we hear about uh, Kumasi and North uh, Wale Wale uh, Navrongo or Burkina Faso. Their tomatoes price it, it, Big, yeah. So we, when we are farm for rainy season, people come here. They say they go buy the box, ten CD, five CD. Ah, you go proud, uh, 
Chatogo proud for you, one acre, they are taking 1.5 for one acre. Before you go buy uh, uh, fertilizer and some other medicine before you go plant the thing. But we don't get market for the thing. The farmers say they invest so much but derive very little or no profit. Yeah, dear tomatoes, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, go first, get free, I, bag, yeah, go for a loan. It's so, I toss, so, I toss, you know, so, I toss, and if, eh, nice, so, I don't know, it's so, I toss, at the astral, but it's a home wire. Now, yeah, bro, I have a home wire. Ah, so, bray, I see, 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 but it's one to and no so on your papa. Don't know so deep bray and so mood bray and I am re yeah you come back at an eye pet and a boy a car. In my farming season like this, one acre before I the time I start the uh, farming, tractor plowing, uh, chemicals use, fertilizers use, and uh, uh, the weeding all over the calculation is almost 1,000 Ghana cities, and after all this, if I harvest the things finished, the calculations I do, it's not even up to uh, 500 Ghana. So, if I do the calculation and I I take out my uh, expenditure from uh, the main uh, account, I'm not getting anything. It's more. I'm losing. Some say they are contemplating quitting farming because it is no longer lucrative, considering that they are even incurring debts. I make my mind that I will stop farming. But in our down here, we only based on farm. So if I stop cry, nothing I can do. So I base on still I base on farm. Despite the existence of some social intervention programs by government to assist farmers, particularly in rural Ghana. The farmers here say they are not getting a fair share of the supposed assistance. They want government to provide them with a dam, a warehouse and a factory to process their products to make agriculture in the area lucrative and profitable. We need the dam here. Yeah, we want the dam here because uh, if we have the dam, this irrigation uh, is very is very precious to us because when it reaches the time of uh, irrigation farm like this, the product uh, the farm product, their prices is very high. So when you sell the product at that time, uh, you the farmer too, you get benefit and you'll be happy and you continue the work. But because there is no dam for us and we are not doing the irrigation, and we are only, only looking for this heavily, this thing, uh, we are not improving. So we want the government to do the one district, one dam for us. Okay, we yes, we, we want it. One district, one dam. Because we are suffering here. Yes, yeah, so we they beg the government say make it can help us. Then we get water for our products, our farm. And if you get water, we go we go farm more. But we don't get water, so now me at the plant say I go leave the farm. I don't go farm again. Before if the government likes it, we still the farm. Then we get things for help Ghana. Make it give me one district, one farm. Uh, one district, one dam. Large hectares of tomatoes are left to go waste in this district because these farmers have no storage facility or a factory to add value to the tomatoes produced in the area. Until successive government stop paying lip service to agriculture, these tomato farmers in the Adar East and its environs, together with others across the country, would continue to go through the cycle of farming to waste instead of farming to boost the economy. So farmers within the Ada East District are complaining of low market and are complaining of some storage facility to enable them farm all year round. For City News, my name is Elvis Washington, reporting from Ada.